this plucky Brit. Is that guy over there wearing a suit? Is 24-year-old antique stealer Alex. The hat is spot on. It's got a feather in it. Hi there, Ivy. I'm Mandy, nice to meet you. When I was 13, my grandma gave me money for an Xbox and I bought two Reliant Robins. And from then, it steadily got worse somehow. So you want to meet a girl that is what? What are you hoping to meet? All that matters, really, it's someone that I enjoy their company. Mm. Do you find you spend your money on dates? No, God, no. Well, do you spend your money on them? I spend money on junk. I mean, I'm an antique dealer. I see so stuff I like, I'm like... Do you got car boot sales? I sell a lot of car boot sales. Yeah. I would say I'm pretty close to being quintessentially British. Ponty accent, bad teeth, tweeds. Any time you see anything you like, you should buy it straight away. Right, OK. Because if you don't, then it might not be there. And also, mm. why not? Because it's junk, you Al, can't... and you're a hoarder. You become a hoarder, that's you why do. not. If I bought everything that I, I thought, <laughs> I like that, I would literally have a house full of shit. I do, that's, that's what I've done you already. You've got a house full of shit. I've, you a house full of I'm shit. I'm ahead of you, yes. <laughs> We're not really impressed by the high antique stealer thing. Obviously, there's not many pretty young women at the antique shop. It's just not a thing that happens. Have you done the online data? God, no. Why? I don't do online anything. I don't know how the internet works. <laughs> it's, it's like everyone thinks I'm older than I am by my, my looks. Look, if I hadn't seen you and I just started talking to you, I would have said you were 75. Nice. <laughs> Good year, vintage year. <laughs> You've done dating, though? Sort of. Little bits sort and pieces. of. It's, it's what do you mean, little bits and pieces <laughs> of dating? What's your longest relationship? Uh, months. We're talking months. It does bother me that I haven't had a serious relationship. At my age, obviously, it's a few dalliances. I, I tend to think I come across quite well, but um, I feel that other people don't see me as good enough. Otherwise, they would. I would have a partner, wouldn't I? Hope you have a lovely date. So do I. Good luck to you as well. Did you just say so do I? So do I. It's true. Have you always been in Kent? Yeah, born and bred. I don't think many people know how beautiful it is, because I went there quite recently to a little tea room. Can't think of the name. What you should have done, of course, is gone to the antique shop, which is my one. And we've got a tea room now. Really? Oh, of course. Oh, wow. Moving up in the world. I reckon my dad's probably gone in there. He's always looking for antiques. Oh, yeah, so am I. I occasionally find them. <laughs> Did you go to school in Kent? Yeah, and I went to the local prep. And then I went to the local comp. Oh, my gosh, yes. What was it like going from private school to state school? Interesting. I mean, it makes you a more rounded person. My school motto was, don't get stabbed. <laughs> I was a very shy child who wouldn't speak to anyone. Was like, was always terrified of any social interaction. So going to the local comprehensive, I mean, yeah, it's a bit rough, you get bullied. And it changes you. I learned how to fight my corner. And I learned how to just take and give punches. And it's just how it goes. As long as you like you, that's all that matters. So are you still friends with a lot of your school friends? No. no. You friends with any of your school friends? OK. We meet up all the time. We're very oh, close. Yeah, no, it's lovely. They're my best friends. And they're all very much in happy relationships, so they're always like, when are you going to find a man? Well, hopefully now. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.